Well, hey YouTube, this is Jerry. I'm gonna make a couple of these uh, supersonic pellets and I'm gonna try something new. So here's my pellet maker. You see it's just a pair of pliers that I drilled a 5.5 millimeter hole in. I've got my glue gun. So I was doing, oh, I've got some wax. This is just regular car wax and I'm sticking it down in there, kind of like a mold release. Seems like it works better. Usually I put the BB in first, but I'm going to try something new. And put a little of that in. Then we're going to press the BB in as hard as it'll go. Oh, that didn't work. I already tell you it didn't work. At least not yet. So we're going to have to do that a couple of times to figure out how to make that work. Okay, so test two. Fill the mold up with plastic. Take a BB. I'm gonna cram a BB in there as hard as I can. Because the biggest problem that I'm seeing with these so far is that the BBs don't stay in it. They come flying out. And this you can see what I got here. I've got like the BBs in the mold, but this is take two is a piece of crap too. We're gonna take it out as well. Oh, it's actually a little better though. Okay, so I think the trick is not so much glue. So, trial and error. So I'm gonna fill it up about halfway this time. And then take the BB and jam it down in there pretty far. Oh my God. And then fill it up the rest of the way with glue. There we go. Because the problem that I'm seeing with these so far, I've shot a bunch of them, is that the um, BB flies out of the plastic. And I made a bunch of them, as you can see, I've got a bunch. But the BB flies out of the plastic. And um, so what you have is you have two impacts. You get an impact from the BB and then an impact from the plastic. So now I take my pocket knife and all I'm going to do is just trim the extra plastic off here. And it's not looking to me, it doesn't look very good, so we're going to put a little more plastic on it again. And there we go. So what happened was it had a little place on it just now that didn't have any, any of the glue stick on it. So now it does. So I'm going to let it dry a little. It's cool enough. Trim it. And it trims really easy. Okay, and just take it out of the mold. Oh yeah, see now this is much better. So I don't know if you can see this, but the BB is like in the center this time. So what I was getting is this. Here's one of the first ones. You see the BB is sticking on the end. So this is, it's not exactly right because the BB is not all the way in, but it's getting closer. So we'll try another one and yeah, see if we can get it even better yet. A little more of this. And then we're going to put some of this in. Then I'm going to press this into the middle. I'm going to push it all the way down if I can get it. It went pretty much to the bottom. Oh, it popped back up. It's kind of weird. Okay. Then I'm going to fill the mold up the rest of the way again. <coughs> and you can see what I've got going on. We'll see how this works out. As you're wondering, I'm putting a little spin on it <coughs> to make it cool a little faster. And I noticed something else too. If it cools all the way, it's harder to trim. 
So you don't want to quite get it to be all the way cold. Okay, so this one looks a little better yet. Yeah, that one's a little better still. Oops, where'd it go? BB's still not in the middle though. Hmm. So let's make them the other way, I guess. Let's try something else. Maybe just a little bit of glue in it. Then the BB pressed all the way down. Then fill it up. So things that I've learned doing these so far is when the glue starts, when I do it this way, I let the glue kind of start to uh, harden up a little. The glue gun glue. And then um, after it starts to harden up, then I, when I can touch it, I'm not quite, push it down with my finger into the mold as hard as I can to kind of take up all the gaps like that. So something I was going to say, using this stuff, you can make pellets out of just about any material with this thing. You know, I thought about you could make them out of epoxy. You know, if you didn't have any lead or anything, you could take just like JB Weld. Of course, it would take a long time, but you could uh, you could make them out of that. So how's this one? Oh yeah, this is the best one. See, the BB is all the way inside the mold. It's all the way inside the plastic. Oops, it's all the way in. So that's the best looking one. So that's what I'm going to try one more like that one. And we'll see how it goes. Come on off. Glue stick strings. So I'll put a little of that in. Grab a BB. Drop the BB in and press it down as hard as I can. Well, that's kind of relevant there. And then fill the mold up the rest of the way with glue. So anyway, you get the idea. So, so far I've made them out of uh, melted pennies, and I've made them out of lead, but these are the most fun. They're not accurate as heck. Um, they're good for, the BB flies absolutely straight for about 15 yards. It hits pretty off, pretty pretty regular in the same place. Um, after that, <laughs> it looks like every other BB gun on the planet. But you gotta remember too, my gun shoots a 22 grain pellet over 1125 feet per second. So I can't even imagine how fast these BBs are going. I know I shot one into the post out here and it buried the BB so deep into the post I can't see it. So that one didn't work at all again. See the BB is halfway in the, the mold. So I'm thinking the best way to do it is just like I said in the first place is drop the BB in, fill it up with this. Let it sit for a second. Let's give it a minute to sit. I do that because it's shit's hot. Press it down into the mold the best you can. Like that. Trim it off. Take it out. And that's what you come up with. You can see the BB's not really in it all the way, but it's in the middle anyway. So there you have it. You've seen the pellet maker in action. Seems like it does work. Um, I've got a little tin full of them. Um, they're fun to shoot. They're kind of, like I said, I'm, I'm more into accuracy than I am into noise. I like my shit quiet, but um, it's fun anyway. It makes a lot of racket because they break the sound barrier coming out of my gun. Um, I'll probably do a video here in a little while. Um, well, when I put them in my mag, and I don't single shoot them, I put them right in the magazine. I have no problem with it. I'll probably make a video later, and you can hear how they sound. All right, well, guys, keep on shooting. This is Jerry out.